Hi there, my name is Jason Caldwell. I'm the lead developer for the S2 member plugin for WordPress. All right, I'm just doing another video here covering the topic in the uh, in the forums for S2 member. Uh, this user is writing in and uh, is reporting a bug related to actually another. It's it's actually they're not really uh, reporting a bug about S2 member. They're reporting a bug about another plugin and how it's affecting S2 member. But I have seen others uh, write in and report this bug as being related to S2 member directly. So anyway, I just wanted to clear up some confusion on why this particular uh, issue is occurring. You see here they've posted a screenshot, and if you've ever seen this happen on your installation of WordPress, then uh, this video should interest you. So this person pulls up their general options for S2 member, and it's just blah. There's nothing. Just the save button. So it's very disturbing. Like, where did all my options go? And several users have also gone into a panic over the fact that, you know, maybe everything is lost. That's not the case. What's happening here is that the options are not initializing. So all of the menus, the pullout menus that you've seen, where you just click the, the subheadings and they open and close, those are not being initialized in your dashboard. And I'm going to bring you over here to another screen and show you why that's happening. Let's see, I have my general options panel for WordPress loaded up here, S2 member general options. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've installed an intentional bug into my site through another plugin. And I'm going to demonstrate for you where this bug, how, and where this bug can be found and how you can correct it. I'm going to click my general options here now that I've installed the bug. And you see I get the same thing. So my S2 memorable general options now appear to be gone. But what's happening is, is that there is a JavaScript bug being introduced somewhere in your dashboard. Now how can that happen? Well when you install plugins, some plugins can create conflicts with other plugins and some plugins can just have mistakes in them. So as you know, instead of trying to blame any particular plugin uh, for this problem because it's not always the fault of a plugin developer why this happens. Sometimes it's just certain plugins working in harmony create a conflict that occurs in a situation where there's a JavaScript bug somewhere in your dashboard and one one sign of this will be that these menus on the left won't open either see how when I click these nothing's happening it's just a, there's a bug somewhere and it's affecting all aspects of your dashboard and it's just that you're seeing it visually here with S2 member because S2 members are driven by a JavaScript initialization routine okay so what you can do is go up, go up here to your tools menu I'm using Firefox and I recommend that you use Firefox to take a look at this go to tools choose error console okay and then you'll choose the errors I think by default this was set to all okay now here you can see that there's several warnings okay if I click over here to warnings seeing warnings is pretty common with Firefox because you'll get warnings about uh, cross browser issues that have been introduced in style sheets things like this and those are actually fairly common and in most cases also relatively harmless um, a lot of times developers and designers will use uh, certain CSS specifications that work with one browser in order to, uh, you know, work around issues from one browser to another one. And so it's fairly common to see Firefox just reporting an unsupported or unknown property. All right, so what we want to look at is just the actual errors. So this is why I filter it down. And if you're seeing this problem on your site, I'd say the chances are close to 100% that you're going to see these errors or something related to a JavaScript issue. So you see here, this is usually a sure sign is that jQuery is not a function, something like this. This is a sure sign that jQuery is not loading at all, or it's not available, or it's there's been a conflict introduced that is not allowing it to load up, and thus any functionality within your dashboard that depends on the jQuery JavaScript framework, which is primarily what WordPress, the WordPress UI panels are are running off of and certainly what S2 member is using if that's not loading up in your site then you will see this problem happen okay and again you can also just clear these out okay and then you can reproduce it again just load the page back up and then take a look back I'm gonna flip screens here and you'll see they pop back up so each time you load the page the errors are reproducible so what you can do is take a look, okay, what files are those errors occurring in? And this is not always an exact science. You know, you can't always just pinpoint it to 
a particular file because it, again it could be a conflict so sometimes you can like if you have a particular plugin and you can see you might try disabling that plugin if that's the file that's that's causing the the weird behavior other times it's best just to try one plugin at a time until you find the culprit um, you know, and in, and then again, and again, it, it's not always necessarily a particular plugin. For example, you might be able to pinpoint it down to a, to a specific plugin that if you disable it, your site works. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that plugin is not coded properly. It could just mean that that code that that plugin, the code in that plugin, is not compatible with all of the other plugins that you are running. And in, in either case, though, it's always a good idea to report that to the developer or maybe to all of the developers of the plugins that you're using so that we uh, people like me can take a look at it uh, analyze it and then possibly find ways to work around those issues and make those plugins compatible with each other okay so I'm just going to demonstrate I'm going to open up another window here and I'm going to delete this intentional bu uh, buggy plugin that I installed so just deleting that plugin is going to remove that conflict and I'm just going to bring back my WordPress installation and I'm going to show you here if I click the general options again for S2 member and now with it loading up without that bug int being introduced you see everything is back to normal and your options that you had configured for S2 member will remain your, nothing was lost it, in fact they were all there the whole time it's just that it didn't pop up uh, to be visible to you okay so I hope this helps to clear up any confusion Please feel free to write uh, into the forums if you have any specific uh, plugins you'd like to report as having caused this conflict. We'd be happy to hear about them.